is crazy big. We have an unboxing. And no, this is not brown boxing. Brown boxing is not what color the box is. I have a whole video on what brown boxing is and it's linked down below in the description if you missed it. But that video is relevant today because in it I spoke to Frank Soma, who's pretty much kind of like an OG of the hobby. I'm not gonna call him like a grandpa, but like he could be. So here it is. Let's go ahead and open it. Here's the heat pack, nice and warm. Again, these guys came from New York, so it's probably even more chilly up there. Anyway. Oh my God. I asked him not to send me anything scary, fast, and arboreal. Oh my God, it it looks so, it looks so cool though. I, I can't even, yeah. Wow, that is huge. It looks like it took a big poop on this too, thanks. So I didn't ask for this, but thank you, Frank. This should be interesting. All right, here they are. These are what I asked for, Hogna Linda White. We have two. It looks like this one already ate the cricket and this one is currently eating a cricket. So you might be wondering why I wanted some more Hogna Linta White. I have a little bit of bad news. The Hogna Linta White that I had, Snowball and her man, they both ended up uh, not making it very long. I had them for a couple months and they were fine and they were eating and then, yeah, I don't know really what went wrong, but I will say, unfortunately, this species of wolf spider is not very long lived. Surprisingly, their lifespan is about the same as a jumping spider. So when you're getting like an adult, obviously that even makes your time with them less. Regardless, I really wanted some more Hogna Linta white because I absolutely love Hogna Lintas, especially the white version. And I set these guys up huge enclosures. Let's go ahead and rehouse these first and we'll deal with the huntsman later. So I did already actually make some enclosures. I really think they turned out nice for a wolf spider. I tried to go bigger just because they are a little bit more active of a spider and I figured these would be adults or close to so this is what I did lots of moss and dirt and leaf litter to hide under some cork to climb around and then also I just find it's always very useful to add a piece of cork that is like a tube that goes into the substrate that way they can go into the tube and burrow in that if they want I'm not sure if these are both females I want to guess they are but let's go ahead and get a better look and maybe we can tell this one is the one that is munching away Oh, I just absolutely love these guys. They have the sweetest faces. Check out those markings. I wonder if I just carefully do this, if she will be chill since she's eating. It kind of looks like it. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't want to scare her more because she's eating, but I would love to show you her cute face. Yeah. She got skittish. Oh, oh my God, precious. You didn't have to quit eating the cricket, but look how nice and chunky she is. I'm actually really happy to see that she was eating a cricket as she arrived because my biggest issue with the species is getting them to eat when they're like an adult. Like they just seem to really go off of food. But other than that, their care, you know, it really hasn't been too complicated. I think this enclosure, it's like gonna be the perfect size too. This is one of my tarantula cribs enclosures. I'll link down below which one this is. And if you wanna shop with them, remember to use my affiliate code code cat 10 which will save you 10% and help me out and she also has options on where to really build her den now like I said usually they will pick that round cork bark too but not always so there's definitely options Okay, she's a little scared of the cricket right now, so I'll leave it in there and let her get acquainted to her new surroundings and maybe get like a nice big drink of water off the side here, I misted it for her. Okay, let's move on to the other one. I'm gonna be really interested to see where these end up building their burrows. I really like this enclosure. I used a different kind of moss for it just because this one is more bendable, if that makes sense. I could wrap it around this like cork bark tube easily. There's actually two entrances. There's one here and then there's actually one on the side. And it's again, a tube that goes into the substrate. And I also use these like really big leaves. I thought these would be perfect for them to hide under. They're like so big. I got these from Tarantula Cribs as well. I think this will be really cool. Also about this much substrate. 
So let's let this one out too. This one's definitely going to be a little bit more flighty because it's not distracted with food in its mouth. Oh, I wonder if this is a male. Yeah, I think this one might be a male. Is this a mature male? I don't know. I can't tell. Maybe I can ask Frank, but it might be a male. <laughs> and he's off. They're so cute. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and right into the cork bark entrance there. They love hiding like this. So if you guys have any name suggestions, I really liked Snowball's name. I thought it was cute. So if we could stay on snow theme, we have a huntsman to rehouse. I could ask Frank some care info on these, but I'm just gonna Google it. Cause I did make an arboreal enclosure already just cause he told me he put something arboreal in there. So let's look it up. B-A-R-Y. All right, so top thing that comes up is something from Arachnoboards. Shout out to you guys. I know you love me there. We should probably edit that out. They don't like you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Central and West African genus living in the jungles along that region. Spiders and the family are arboreal, spend almost their whole lives in and around trees. The spider just needs 70 to 80 temp humidity and will be fine. Carries pretty much the same for Heteropoda, arboreal setup, moist substrate. The species is very bolty. Really, Frank? So watch opening the enclosure. Also, there are reports that their venom is medically significant. While I've seen no actual proof this is true, I would be cautious to be on the safe side. So they commented that in 2019 and Frank told me it's not that venomous, so who do we believe? No, I'm just kidding. It's probably no different really than like H. David Bowie's and stuff. Huntsmen aren't really typically that venomous, but yeah, okay, so very fast, bolty, and possibly venomous, more venomous. <sighs> and it's like, I can't fit this, like, oh, that's, that's a problem. I can't fit this like thing in there, you know, like this whole thing. I can't just like drop it in. What am I gonna do? Oh, by the way, this is the enclosure I made. I actually really like it. I used one of those giant leaves as like arboreal decor. And then I gave it like a big piece of cork and then some little sticks and then like open space too. Cause I don't know if they actually like need to molt anymore. This is looking like an adult, so it probably won't molt. Frank did warn me though that they've all been gravid. So very nice, we might have babies. How are we gonna do this? Oh no, I don't like it. Very bolty. Hmm. Fantastic. Very bolty arboreals. My favorite. Absolute the best. Okay. Maybe I can get some good shots of it before I possibly have to chase it. <sighs> oh, wow. Oh my God. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Look at that. That is crazy big. Very fuzzy. It's just a really, really big spider. Oh my gosh, a really, really, really big scary spider. Oh, okay. Let's, let's figure this out. How will this happen? How will this work? So it's like being good now. What I think would work best is if I take this paper towel out and drop the paper it in there with the paper towel. And what it should do is probably just bolt to behind this. So yeah, let's just hope for that. Hmm. And it's arboreal too, so like a big bin won't do much. Oh my God. I don't like this. <laughs> oh, I'm so stressed. I don't know what to do. Cause like, here's the thing. It, say if I walked it down here, it would just run up on the cup and like go around. Like I've done this enough times to know what happens. Oh man. Okay, I th think if we do this. <laughs> okay, all right, yay. So what if, what if we just poked it from behind like this? <gasps> You're supposed to go like the other way, not poke back. Oh my God, this thing is scary. 
Cause like it's turning this way and I don't want you to turn this way. <gasps> oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Go, go the other way. <gasps> Scary. It's like, should I let it keep the paper towel? I really don't want to though. Okay, what if? Now we poke it. I see, I don't like how it like turns around and it's like, I'm gonna bite you for touching me now. <gasps> go, go, go. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Well, that did not really do much because now it's just right here. And this thing is huge. Oh my God, this is so big. If this gives me babies, I am sending these right back to Frank. Tries to come this way and I, I want it to go, yep, on the cork. <laughs> okay, and there it is. It did what I wanted it to do. Now just stay there for two freaking seconds. <laughs> We did it. Sick ass spider, very scary though. I give it a eight out of 10 on the spooky scale. For sure she needs a name, you guys. Look at her. I really like her, but I'm also like really afraid of her, so. Cool. So yeah, that is it for today. I know it's just a quick little unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys soon. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not. And <laughs> don't forget I made a scream to use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.